we want to solve the given linear equations in one variable with fractions. When we have an equation with fractions, we can either work with the fractions in the equation or clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. In this lesson, we'll go ahead and clear the fractions from the equation first by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. Looking at our first equation, the least common denominator is the least common multiple of six, three, and 18. One way to find the least common denominator or least common multiple is to list out multiples of six, three, and 18 and determine the smallest number that is in all three lists. Here we can see the least common multiple or least common denominator is 18. This indicates by multiplying both sides of the equation by 18, we can clear the fractions from the equation. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 18. So the next step, because the products involve fractions, let's write 18 as a fraction with the denominator of one. We'll also distribute 18 on the right side to clear the parentheses. Notice on the right side we now have 18 over one times negative 5 thirds x plus 18 over one times 11 eighteenths. And now before multiplying we will simplify. All the denominators should simplify to one. Looking at the left side of the equation, notice 18 and six share a common factor of six. There's one six and six and three sixes and 18. Or we can simply just think of 18 divided by six is equal to three. On the right side, 18 and three share a common factor of three. There's one three and three and six threes and 18. Or again, we can simply think of 18 divided by three is six. And for the last product, the two 18s that share a common factor of 18, there's one 18 and 18 in the numerator and denominator. Or again, we can think of 18 divided by 18 is equal to one. And now we multiply. Going back to the left, we now have three times five x, which is 15 x. Equals on the right, we have six times negative five x, giving us negative 30 x, plus one times 11, giving us plus 11. For the next step, let's get the x terms on the same side of the equation. Let's add 30 x to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have 45 x equals 11. And since 45 x means 45 times x, for the last step, we divide both sides by 45, giving us x equals 11 45ths. The only common factor between 11 and 45 is one, and therefore the simplified solution is x equals 11 45ths. Looking at our second example, notice we have denominators of three, nine, and 27. 27 is the least common denominator, and therefore we will clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides by 27. And again, let's write 27 as a fraction with a denominator of one, Let's also distribute 27 on the right side of the equation. Notice on the right side we now have 27 over one times four ninths x minus 27 over one times five twenty-sevenths. Again, before multiplying we will simplify. 27 and three share a common factor of three. There's one three and three and nine threes in 27, or 27 divided by three is nine. Equals on the right side, 27 and nine share a common factor of nine. There's one nine and nine and three nines and 27, or 27 divided by nine is three. If the last product, 27 divided by 27 is one, or the 27s share a common factor of 27, there's one 27 and 27 in the numerator and denominator. And now we multiply. Going back to the left, we have nine times seven x, which is 63 x equals on the right. We have three times four x, which is 12 x minus one times five giving us minus five. For our next step, let's subtract 12 x on both sides to get the x terms on the same side. Simplifying, we have 51 x equals negative five. For the last step, we divide both sides by 51. Simplifying, we have x equals negative five fifty-first. I hope you found this helpful.